Yeah. But it doesn't involve ghosts. No. <laughs> Maybe the ghosts are not all. <laughs> so, phenomenon, we struggle. Why? Because there's sort of two meanings. There's two meanings. Yeah, right. Just like the word theory, theory. which I thought was surprising that we decided yeah. we're going to commit it to. Yeah, we do. We put it. That's because we're we all have science have people. Yeah, right. <laughs> so a lot of these words have two different meanings, but a lot of times in media they use it intentionally as one. Mm -hmm. So words like theory, we've had a long discussion about. But do you think they do it intentionally? Don't you think that a lot of times in the media they don't know the meanings of some of these words, the scientific meaning of some of these words? I personally feel like they do it intentionally because the more that we argue, the more that they're going to be able to put out. The more they're going to sell. The more they're going to sell. Mm. So, wow. hmm, you've got a like, mm. negative. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Mary. <laughs> I don't like the media. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like yeah. Yeah. But as a sales perspective, yeah. I feel like the more that we argue, the more they sell. Yeah. yeah. Then they want us to watch the news. Oh. Yeah. yeah. But I think you might be giving them a little too much so. credit in terms of what they know. Yeah. Right. I'm not sure because there have been like uh, science media outlets that I follow, and then they go towards that realm of not really like reporting science and just becoming clickbait, and people have criticized them for it, and they just mm -hmm. keep on doing it because they make more money that way. They get more page views. And so it's ultimately like, what do they want to get out of it? Also, ultimately, you're dealing with. This is going to be a small number, one or two people, because the Inquirer runs yeah. what every single person that owns Gannett runs, mm -hmm. the exact same article. Mm -hmm. So whoever at Gannett writes the article is being disseminated. They don't, the Cincinnati Inquirer is not reading the scientific article, they're just reprinting it. They're not reporting it. So it's ultimately these five or six or ten people up here that are writing it right. are the ones that are disseminating the information. Yeah, so often who the loudest is the one who is right. heard. And a Cincinnati yeah. Choir reporter isn't going to write a scientific article. It's going to be somebody and then disseminate oh, yeah. it to 200 newspapers. So then are those people that are writing 